I'm going to rename this series Too Many Losing Lemon Scenes. <laughs> These last two episodes have been absolutely painful for anybody that's sympathizing with Lemon or just in general know that Lemon is best girl. It has been painful to get to these episodes. I don't know. They did a really good job with this recent episode really kind of clearing the air. I mean, it, there's still pain there. Let, let's, let's not joke about this. There is still pain there. Even when Lemon got him to essentially confess that he loves her. When she acknowledged the fact that that it could not make me happier than knowing the one that I've always loved, loved me too. Even still then, you can hear the pain in her voice. The say you nailed it, by the way. There's pain there. There's so much pain there. There's still the acknowledgement that she wants to be friends, but at the same time acknowledging that she is in pain. This still hurts her. Oh, there's so many bad scenes in this this entire episode. The, the whole segment where she's literally saying, yeah, I did something bad. I thought of something incredibly bad. I thought, what if I could take them up, you know, break them up? What if I can finally have him? I'm a bad girl. No, that's, I mean, yes, it's a, it's a bad thought. <laughs> it's a bad thought that is literally trying to take somebody from somebody and causing these two people to break up him basically cheating on his girlfriend. But still, it's okay to have those thoughts. Like jealousy is a thing. It is a perfectly healthy thought process there. It's the actions Thoughts are okay. Action. That's the bad part of it. So it's like, oh, I, I hurt for this girl so much. But it's still an incredible episode. Like, overall, this episode was so beautifully done. There's so many cool little moments in this episode that call back to other stuff. Yes, these little punchlines for certain things. Like, yes, that she planted a GPS on Yakishio. <laughs> planted a GPS on Lemon in order to find her. It, it's so funny because it didn't even dawn on me at the time when suddenly I know where Asagumo shows up in front of Lemon and I was thinking, okay, maybe it's just coincidence. Maybe they contact each other in order to meet because Lemon said that she was going to go talk to them. So I figured they just kind of, you know, contact each other to meet. But no, she was literally, <laughs> she was tracking Lemon. And yeah, the letter part where she said, I'm a, I'm a bad girl. I'm, I'm much more of a bad girl than you think I am because she's planning GPSs on everybody. <laughs> it's so dorky. Again, overall, really good episode. They even actually answered the question about what the castle was. Suibuki High was the actual castle in her story. She finally got to go to that castle because he helped her. He helped her learn. <laughs> he helped teach her all this stuff. And that's how they got to the castle. Again, so many cool callbacks. Like this episode was so good. Anyways, let's get into the episode proper. <laughs> I'm, I'm like jumping all over the place. Yes, opening up with this little scene with Yanami. I think this scene is really good. It didn't really dawn on me until after I got done, you know, doing my entire impressions video and my reaction video to the previous episode. That yes, technically Yanami has never really expressed any emotion about this whole situation. Like even back here, way back here when Asagumo actually pulled them over to, well, they went over to Nugumizu's house. It never gave an ind indication of what Yanami thought. Yes, she was kind of jumping in there, but she never expressed what it made her feel. Except for the idea that they were, that she felt that they had to be at Lemon's side. This is my friend. We need to make sure that if she does something wrong that we correct her, but we also support her. That was the only indication there. Ever since then, it's been goofy. And I almost felt like it was a good contrasting to coping with their situation. Whereas Yanami almost feels like she's trying to be overly energetic and happy and goofy in order to get over her situation with Sosuke. And she's applying it to the situation too. Just being goofy. Like the whole situation with them going to see Lemon in this last episode, she was being goofy the entire time. Not showing what she thought about the situation. But here suddenly, it opens up. <laughs> suddenly she sits down and she gives her thoughts gives these very almost selfish thoughts. Like, yeah, you know what? If she asked me right now, I'd tell her, go take him. Go take him away from Asagumo. I would say that if she asked me right now, Asagumo's okay with standing off the side, why not? And it's almost like the sense of like, she's saying a lot of mean things. And it was interesting that at some point, Nukumizu steps up and says, you know, stop. I don't want to hear you say those bad things about people behind their backs. And it's, it's, it's like one of those moments where you're like, he's almost saying, stop saying nasty things about people. Like, don't do that. But more so doing it for her benefit. He's almost, it's almost like he's saying it in a way that I don't want to see, I don't want to hear you say that. I don't want that from you. It's almost a friendship thing. So it was actually the way that it was worded and it could be different translation wise, but that's what it felt like that scene was kind of portraying there. And again, I really like seeing Yanami basically say what's on her mind. This is what I feel. This is what I'm going through. And yes, also teasing the idea that I can make her into a bad girl too. If you want me to go over there and talk to her, no, I'll handle it. <laughs> Please don't do that. But yeah, so we get the first pain scene with Lemon right after this where Nikamisa goes out there to where she's running. He just happened to go outside to check out the stars. But yeah, that's where we get the confession from Lemon, exactly what she was doing there. Yeah, I was happy 
when he wanted my advice. I wanted to help him. He came to me for advice and implying, yes, that she took advantage of it, that she was happy about that. But at the same time, she molded it into, I was enjoying it too much. And I thought at some point, what if I took him and, and separated them? What if I can snatch him up? What if I can take him from her? She was putting herself up. She was trying to look as good as possible. I mean, that, that, that was a whole idea there way back there, be, just before they had that whole date NTR thing going on. <laughs> Again, note, she polished her hairband. The little pin that she has in her hair, she polished it. It was sign that she was going out there as a date. She wanted his attention. That was that buildup. He came to me for advice, and I took advantage of that. And she felt like a nasty person for that. And again, like I said before, this is what the sucky thing is, is that this whole love triangle thing is like the more you're getting involved, the more you want to help out, the more that's a conflict of interest when the fact is that you really do like him and you just want him. It's just, it sucks so much. It hurts. It's, it's so painful. And again, her just breaking down, it hurts. Because again, it's like, it's not really, it's, it's nobody's fault. In the end, it's nobody's fault. She's in love with him. Can't fault her for it. He's in love with her. He just didn't think he can have her. Can't fault him for it. Can't fault Asagumo for it. Everybody, I can't fault anybody for it. It's just a crappy situation. And everybody's going to deal with it differently. And in the situation, she was trying to help. But in the end, it hurt her. Because she was trying to, to, to help him out. And it, when, in the process, is it's going out with him alone. And especially the fact that Anano is basically talking about him trying to deal with boundaries. That he's trying to navigate the boundaries with Asagumo. Hey, Lemon, who I've never thought ever liked me, that I would never be good enough for, I'm having issues with Asagumo maybe making advancements here. How do I kiss her? Yeah, that's something that Lemon wants to hear, right? That's something that totally Lemon wants to talk about. Let's talk about it. I like the fact that he brought up boundaries. And, it, and it's like, yeah, about that GPS device. <laughs> About that GPS device. It sucks. All around, it just sucks. It was a super painful scene. And yes, the conundrum that always faces. Lemon wondering, can I still be his friend? That's always going to be the question mark. Can I be his friend? Even Nukumizu pointing out, yeah, you're going to keep getting these stories. Again, that's what Yami was dealing with. You're still hanging out with Sosuke and Karen. And you love Sosuke. You're going to hear about them dating all the time. You're going to be around them when they're dating and flirty-like. Anyways, we follow this scene with a, a little bit of a cool down, thank goodness. Goofy little scene of them all packing up. Yes, Nukumizu has a t-shirt from Lemon. Apparently, she tried to give it to Yanomi, but it was too small. <laughs> okay, I, I have to admit, I know what they're going for here. The joke is that, yes, she's too big here that she couldn't fit into the t-shirt. I'm sorry, with how broad <laughs> Nukumizu's shoulders are, I mean, it, it could easily... Right. But anyway, it's fine. It was a good joke. She's her literally her chest size is larger than his chest size, despite her figure. Funny little moment with Tsukinoki basically glomping on him. And then over there on this side, you have Komaru. He's literally essay. <laughs> He's like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm the one that's going to get attacked here. But no, I loved it because the grandma, the grandma was so great. She's like, it's so great that Lemon has such great friends. And he's like, yeah, those girls, they're just, they're crazy. But yeah, they're, they're pretty reliable. No, I was talking about you. Slaps him on the back. The moment she slapped him on the back, I'm like, oh, so that's where Lemon got that from. <laughs> like, like granddaughter, like grandmother. It, I don't know who, which came first. I don't know if, if Lemon possibly passed that off to her grandma or for grandma instilled that upon her. That was super cute though. But yeah, just acknowledgement. Like, everything that's happened here with Nukumizu, like, he has been doing such a fantastic job with these girls. Again, just simply being there. Every now and then, sprinkle a, a little bit of advice in there that is helpful to the situation. I mean, like I said, warning Lemon, you're going to keep running into that. Just know that you're going to keep running into that. Not to say you're wrong for thinking those thoughts. You shouldn't think that. Or you should stay away from Iono because it's going to ruin your life. Or you're going to be pained all the time. No, simply, you're going to run into that more. If you're around him, again, just simply be there and offer a little bit of advice every now and then. It's all it takes. But no, Lemon says that she's going to go talk to them. I like this because there was right here, Lemon looks like she's committed. Don't worry, Nukumisu. I'll handle it. I'm going to talk to them. Don't, don't worry yourself anymore. I'm good. I'll talk to both of them. We'll get this figured out immediately after this scene. That's when, again, Asaguma <laughs> apparently was tracking her with GPS, wants to talk to her. But... Lemon's hesitant. I like that confidence in front of Nikumizu 
I'm going to figure it all out. Don't worry. I got it all figured out. I've, I've, she's committed in her mind. I'm going to resolve this situation. I'm going to talk to both of them and get everything worked out. But still, it's easier to say that than do that. So you have that hesitation even in that moment. I love the fact that they, when they made this scene, when they adapted the scene, you see that Lemon, even still then, is uncomfortable. She's hesitant. But yeah, the two of them went off somewhere. I, I'm kind of bummed that they didn't show what they talked about. I mean, we get the whole scene with Ayano, but I was kind of hoping that we get a little bit of um, explanation as to what the two of them talked about. They just got onto a train together, left, and then later on, they're buddies. So I'm not sure exactly what they talked about. Hopefully, maybe in the next episode, they'll give a flashback to see exactly what they talked about. Obviously, the important scene is with Ayano. <laughs> but before then, yes, they had that little scene where he's in the bookstore. And I don't know. I'm going to assume this is probably a light novel. It's like every single light novel they've shown on this show so far with these crazy titles. I'm sure they all really exist. But the one, <laughs> the, school, the classroom idol or whatever super chats me, <laughs> I got to kick out of that one. They're all crazy, though. But no, the second heartbreaking scene of the episode, Nukamizu takes Lemon to go see Ayano and they start reminiscing about the past. And again, this is where we get that play out of that entire story that Lemon was making. The story about the girl that didn't know how to be a proper princess girl. She meets the prince and he sits down and sees that she's working hard to be more prim and proper. And he basically helped her study, helped her learn all this stuff until eventually they got to go to the castle together. That's their story. A long time ago, she got injured. She kept bugging this bookworm, this Ayano guy. And then after a while, she got better, but she still hung out with him. And he was so patient with her. Even though she normally fell asleep reading these stories, he sat there and taught her all this stuff. And she listened. She enjoyed listening to him. Eventually, till she got better again, she still stayed there. And again, she wanted to go to that academy. Now, she gave the excuse that it was because her family are a bunch of academics and lawyers and she didn't want to feel left out. But yeah. The truth was that she wanted to be with Aino. She wanted to go to that castle with him. And so he helped her. He helped her study to eventually go to that school, that castle, and go there with her. And he didn't know why he wanted to go there either. They both didn't know why. He didn't know what those feelings were. So it, it does sort of open up the door to a little bit more to Aino and the idea that he just didn't know what love was. Until eventually when they went to middle school and stuff like that and she got more popular, he didn't know what this feeling was, but he felt left out. She was leaving me behind. She was so popular. She's better than me. I'll never be able to be around her anymore. And he didn't realize what that was. He was in love with her. It was, it's like the both of them. They both didn't know what it was until it was too late. And he didn't know what that love was until he started going out with Asagumo. He didn't know what it was until he fell in love with her. So it does kind of punch the gut a little more with Ayano. And the idea that he probably would have asked Lemon out. Like he probably would have pushed himself if he knew what that feeling was. It was literally love. Uh, it sucks. Like, and all of it sucks. This whole world sucks. The concepts of love and everything suck. Uh, it was, and again, having Lemon really push him to finally say it. Like, he doesn't know what that was. And she's just going, I'll help you out. You liked me. And it's like that clear as day. It just suddenly realized, yes, that's exactly what it was. And she's, again, you know she's still hurting, but she's pained the idea of that accepting. I, that, what could be a better feeling than the one that you've always loved? saying that they love you <laughs> it's like no it sucks because you almost want him to lie just to push her away but would that fix anything either either way it sucks but at least right here it does seem like lemon is liking the idea that in the end either way i'm not going to have him even if he pushes me away and says i never loved you even if he says i love you either way in the end i'm not going to get him but at least now i know that it's not an unrequited love there might be a little bit of a positivity there that yeah in the end i won in the end, I caught his attention. That was sort of what she was saying before and how she was putting herself up and getting excited to go on those dates with him. Not dates, but again, those advising <laughs> trips with him to help him with advice and love advice. She was trying to catch his attention. She wanted to snag him. But yeah, all that sucks. All of it sucks. But yeah, wrapping it up. <laughs> I like how Nuku is out there going, so if I get caught, I'm going to claim that I'm looking for my cat. And then suddenly, I don't know where Ayano shows up and he just meow. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, I heard from her that you and Yanami aren't a thing. And he's like, oh, I completely forgot about that bond. <laughs> I did too. Like, when the, Again, this is one of those cool little moments they tie things back into it. It's like way back here when they were going down there to that whole aquarium thing. That whole thing was a ruse that he wanted to get advice to help go out with like Yanami or somebody else from the literature club. 
it was completely a lie. He's like, wow, I completely forgot about that whole lie. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that wraps up with the next day. Everything's all cool. I like how when he's going to school, you have Kaji's literally at the door and she's doing that whole striking the thing, which typically is like for driving away bad luck or evil spirits or whatever. So she like does that right before he leaves to go to school. And what happens at school? <laughs> Yanami says that she's dropped too many hints and everybody thinks that she has a boyfriend now and she can't admit that she doesn't because then that'll make her look like she got dumped again. He thinks that she's gonna confess to him, but no, it's to see if he can borrow Ayano, which I don't get that because he's already got a girlfriend, but I'm guessing she just wants him to kind of be in the frame or something like that for her pictures to claim a substitute boyfriend or something. I don't know. But yeah, we also get the admittance of Asagumo that she's been tracking everybody with GPS and she's kind of a bad girl. <laughs> Either way, it was super cute. And again, hopefully, hopefully maybe in the next episode for a brief moment, we'll get an idea of what Asagumo and, and Lemon had talked about. But either way, it's fine. I'm glad everything kind of wrapped up the way it did. It's sort of the same situation as the whole thing with um, Tsukinoki and Komari. It's, it does feel like these people have kind of come to an understanding. And in the end, they can become friends. It's still The pain's still going to be there, but hopefully, at least in understanding each other, it'll help out. And I think that's sort of what Asaguma was wanting when she confronted Lemon. I want to understand you more. I want to learn more about you. And I think them becoming friends, hey, have a harem route. That can go happen too. <laughs> but at least they have the understanding of each other and they can still be friends. So anyways, it's a, again, another tragic, heartbreaking episode. I'm curious to see where we'll go from here. <laughs> again, I'm guessing it's going to be maybe going forward. We're going to have Yanami having to deal with the fact that she has a fake boyfriend and again, maybe she's going to end up roping Nukumizu in this situation and forcing him to have to go on dates with her. And then, I don't know, maybe Doki Doki's happens from that. But we'll see. But that's my thoughts on the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, hit that like button down below. Comment. Let me know if you the episode. Additionally, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe before you leave. If you like this content and you want to support channel more, I have links in the description below. Greatly appreciate it, but it does. And until next time, y'all take care.